Very recently we took a look at the HX Outdoors Dogfish. Today we take a look at its baby brother. Okay, so today we will be taking a look at the HX Outdoors EDC020A. Let's get it out of the box. And there we go. That's a little thing, isn't it, guys? It's actually uh, UK friendly because it's a slip joint. And we have a little carabiner on the back here, too. Quite a nice little thing. Um, there's the blade, slip joint as I say, there's no locking going on, and as you can see it's quite small, so it's perfect for a UK EDC carry. Right, let's uh, take a close look. So here we are at the business end as per usual guys, and as you can see, this side is a full flat grind, and we have a little nail nick going on just here. Here we have the HX Outdoors logo, let's flip him over. No, things are different on this side then guys um, where we can see the um, part number EDC020A uh, the little HX Outdoors Chinese logo here but look how different the blade is on this side it's interesting and then we'll move along to the scales which are G10 and in my favourite FDE as I say, we have a little carabiner on this end of things here, look. Which is good. But wait a minute, there's another nail nick going on here. What's that all about? Let's pop him out and have a look, guys. There we go, there's another blade. Or is it? Ha ha. Scissors. That's different. I picked this little fellow up from Fastec uh, the other week. It's just come through the door. Quite nice, quite interesting little thing. I was uh, talking to my friend uh, Trader Joe and he pointed out that this seems to be based on the Kershaw Toucan. This is how you use the scissors. Um, let's get it folded away for a moment. So this is the uh, normal knife style configuration. Um, it's, as I say, it's a slip joint, so it should be quite good for UK EDC. What's it like to hold, guys? Um, actually, it's not too bad at all. There's nothing. Uh, there's no pocket clip or anything. No hot spots. I can get uh, well, just about three fingers on the little fellow, as you can see. Um, the blade folds away quite nicely, like so. And we have the two two springs down the back here. One of the springs is for the uh, scissor blade uh, and also doubles up as the spring for the uh, carabiner clip here. I believe you can probably um, open a bottle of uh, juice with this as well. We'll have a go at that later on. Um, the uh, blade comes out very nicely. Uh, it's very thin, it's about six millimeters thick actually. In fact, uh, let's take a look at some dimensions. I measured all these dimensions myself, guys. Um, closed, you're looking at 74.4 millimeters. Uh, the blade length is 46.5, so that puts it well within uh, UK regulations. Um, the thickness of the blade is 1.4 millimeters. As we said, we've uh, it's, it's uh, six millimeters thick on the G10 there, and just here. This part here, guys, you're looking at 21.4 millimeters. How heavy or light is it? Uh, three quarters of an ounce or 21 grams. It'll be really easy to carry this little fellow. You can either slip it in the little teeny pocket you get on jeans, if it's in there a treat, or you can clip it onto, if I can get it back out again, there we are, you can clip it onto the um, one of the belt loops, hopefully. There we go. I think this is a, quite a handy size for a UK EDC or anywhere else you're not allowed to carry a locking knife. Um, very small, light, nice uh, G10 scales on here. Um, the finish on the uh, stainless looks quite nice. 
um, you can, it's actually a lot easier to use than you might think and you can actually use um, the blade just like a knife too so I'll tell you what we better do um, let's quickly get Bob the bits of bag in okay so here's Bob the bits bag try this little bit of paper with the blade see how good it is well, that's not too bad at all guys that's very good just hang up a little bit every now and again but that's that's all right get rid of the uh, paper cardboard see what it's like chopping cardboard up wow very easily actually no effort at all hmm that's good over there it goes let's try some a good few strands of cheapo rope get that in there let's have a look get the blade in hopefully there we are right in Wow, that was uh, quite easy. This is quite a sharp little blade by looks of it, guys. So let's move on to some speaker style cable. Can it cut through that, I wonder? Yes, it can. That's, uh, yeah, it's quite good. Some blue 32020. Let's try that as well. This is a bit heftier gauge. Copper strands in here, 32 copper strands. Straight through that as well. This is uh, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, guys. So what about our little friend Mule the Tapeworm here then? Very kindly sent in to us by Trader Joe. Thank you very much, Joe. Right in. Let's get the blade in there. Because this is funny stuff to chop up, this is. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Did it, but I had to push it a little harder. What about the scissors then? A bit more Mule the Tapeworm. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there. It is... They are cutting through it, but it's uh, yeah, it's got stuck. But they, it's finding it. Um, they are finding mule the tapeworm quite difficult to cut through, guys. But I'm not surprised, really. What about 3202 copper? Oh, I did that all right. Uh, we've got a little bit of um, speaker style cable here. Did that too. Cheapo rope. Yep, they, they sometimes stick together, guys. There we go, right in. What about this cardboard? Let's give that a go. Yep, there we go. Let's cut the cardboard nicely. And they shouldn't really have any bother handling paper, guys. Not really. Pretty good, uh, pretty good with paper. Not bad at all then. Well that was surprisingly sharp and uh, very easy to cut through a lot of stuff. Um, however using the scissors I did uh, find they're a little bit on the uncomfortable side when you cut through something thick. Obviously I mean they're obviously not designed for chopping heavy duty stuff. Um, we've got a little bit of a jimping along the back of the blade here for you know to engage your finger as you're using it as scissors. Um, folds away quite nicely. Uh, the cutting edge of the blade is actually uh, serrated here to help with the chopping of stuff uh, chopping of stuff up. And so we've got this little carabiner on the back. I wonder if we can actually use that to open a bottle then guys. Uh, Mrs Rathbone's not here at the moment so we'll have to uh, do this by ourselves. All right, can we do it then? Can we actually clip this uh, carabiner onto the uh, cap? Yes, we can. Now, is it strong enough to rip the cap off the bottle or will it damage the carabiner itself? Because it's very thin. Let's give it a go. Oh, blimey, I'm going to have to go uh, a couple of times with this on. Oh, there we go. Made a mess all over the place and it holds the cap very nicely for you too, guys, so you don't lose the cap. Right, let's have a swig. Mm. I'm going to also spill it all over the place while we're doing it too, guys. So you can use a carabiner to get a cap off of a bottle too, which is quite handy. And it hasn't uh, bent it either, guys. It's quite strong. And as I say, this is part of the uh, spring. Just runs up here. It's part of the spring for the main blade too. I say, slip joint, quite handy for uh, us in the UK. I like this a lot, actually. It's not too bad at all. It's a bit small. But then again, it's uh, when you look at it, it's not exactly uh, threatening or tactical in any way, which is uh, exactly what we want here. So this is an interesting take on the 
Kershaw Toucan then. The um, HX Outdoors EDC everyday carry, so you can carry it with you every day. O2OA. I don't know if there's going to be a B. If there is going to be a B, I wonder what it is going to be like. But anyway, it's quite nice. It's quite uh, small and compact, easy to carry. Uh, will fit into your pocket. You can hang it off of a bag, your belt loop. Um, you can very easily carry it in your EDC pack too. Uh, if you're a, a female, a young lady, you can carry it in your handbag without even noticing it because it's very, very light too. Um, the construction, to me, looks uh, quite good. It's a quite good quality finish on it. I purchased mine from Fastec. So what I'll do is I'll leave you a, a link in the descriptive text below so you can pop along, take a look at it, um, check the availability and price in your country wherever you're watching. I guess it does actually look like a toucan as well, doesn't it look guys? That's probably where Kershaw got the name from, but uh, yeah, this is uh, the HX Outdoors reboot of the uh, toucan. Um, the construction, as I say, is quite good. It runs quite nicely. The, the scissors do actually uh, sometimes, they will hang up if you're trying to cut something too thick really, because they're not really meant for heavy duty work. And away it goes quite nicely guys. Okay, right in. Don't forget you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much guys. Uh, you can share the review with your friends and if you enjoyed it, please feel free to click a like. And don't forget to share the review on your social media too guys. You can also follow me on Instagram, because I put up uh, pictures, and I have actually done that today, put up a picture of this one a few moments ago on Instagram. Uh, there's my Google Plus as well, you can follow me on there too. And you can also support the channel via Patreon too, because I'm on Patreon, guys. Thanks for everyone who's supporting me on there already. Please feel free to let me know in the uh, comments down below what you think of the, uh, the little knife here. Quite a nice little thing. I say it's ideal for a UK EDC because of its size and it's a uh, non-threatening, non-tactical. It's a little slip joint. You shouldn't have any problem. I wouldn't have thought uh, carrying this thing around. Should be all right. All right then, everyone. Well, thanks for popping over. Thanks for taking a look at the review. Um, I hope you'll pop by again. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you back here at Rathbone Manor sometime in the near future. Then. Later. Oh, <laughs>